Yes, I'll... Ah, there's another pub. It's just <clears throat> kind of hidden out of the way. What is this about? How do you do, Cyrodiil? What is this about? Clearly nothing. Yes, well, out of measure. Waste works. Now that's got to be the wrong level. Yes, Outlander. Oh, it's a good thing these people don't actually care that I'm picking their locks. Well, because there's nothing good back what there anyway. How do you do, Cyrodiil? No, you can't tell me anything. Outland. Dearest Eroldil, last time I have watched you from afar, bathing in the light that is your beauty. Long have I wished for the courage to speak to you of my undying love for you. Your eyes are really, really brown, in that good wood elf kind of way. And your hair, your hair is really black, <coughs> and looks good on your head. You walk with grace and beauty, and perhaps someday you'll walk with me too. Please tell me you share my love. I've seen you in my store, browsing for minutes on end. Minutes on end. <laughs> my love for you is so great, I would give you a discount on most all my items for sale. I look forward to your response. Yours, Gadain. Okay, then. There you are, you elusive bastard. Get the hell back here. Hold on, let me recharge my stamina. And, well, let's buff the health for some reason. And then... Yeah, buff personality. Okay. Feather ring. I don't got any ring. I don't know what you're talking about. But I will intimidate you. Bitch. Fine, take it. Never like the stupid ring anyway. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. See, is this the guy who wrote Let's the note? Business, shall we? You say you found a love letter of mine? Oh dear, that's embarrassing. You found that? Oh dear, I really meant to throw that away. It's all true, though. I have loved her since the moment I first set eyes on her. I just haven't had the courage to speak to her yet. Perhaps you'll speak to her for me? Plead in my case? I'd be very grateful. Fine. You will? Wonderful. If you'll just tell her how I feel, tell her how happy I'd make her, I'm sure I'm sure she'd be interested. You'd probably find her in the waste works. That's where I've watched, seen her at times. Oh, you don't say. We got ourselves a stalker, and not the good kind either. I'm not sure why I'm really bothering with these bargain restoration potions, but whatever. Night eye, you say? Well, I suppose it's not too bad. All right. 
right. There we go. We're watching you. You scum. Arrow deal. Okay, you need to remember that name. Not now, Outlander. Head on. Is that you? Because that'd be really convenient. Yes, it is. I'm fine, thank you. What can I do for you? He thinks I might be interested in him. Ha! That's a ridiculous notion. The very thought. Insane. I mean, has he seen himself in a mirror lately? I'm sure he's a decent enough sort, but that's ridiculous. He might be more suited for my cousin, Glathel. She's lowborn, plain, and desperate for her husband. But me? You can tell Gadane that you've spoken to Eldil, and she's not interested. Stick up, bitch. Glathel is a decent, if rather common sort. I mean, I don't have much to do with her. She's rather plain, not too bright. But she's not a bad person for what she is. You can find her at the Elven Nation's Corner Club. She's, ser she's a serving girl. But I intimidate you. Mm, let's do it again. I hear you. Can we work this out? No, that's not boosting that any. Well, I guess I can't change your mind. Damn. Bad news. Let's do some business, shall we? Have you spoken to <coughs> Errol Dilly yet? She says she wanted nothing to do with me, but that's awful. I was certain she'd at least consider the idea. Well, I'll have to go to my backup plan. Well, I figured there was a slight chance she wouldn't be interested in me right away. So I had an alchemist mix up a special potion for me. For anyone else, it will seem a normal health potion. But if Aerodil drinks it, she'll find herself incredibly attracted to me. <laughs> Perhaps she'll deliver it to her. Um, sure. <laughs> I appreciate the help, friend. Just tell her it's an apology from Gadan. She should accept it then. Then, once she drinks it, she'll fall into my arms in no time. Yes, I'm sure she'll accept my apologies. And the potion, of course. Let's have a look at this potion. Wherever it may have gone. Love potion. Restore health for... 8 points for 10 seconds. And restore health 20 points. Oh, over encumbered. Well, that doesn't have any charge. Damn. Shouldn't have, just wa shouldn't have wasted it all. Cyrodiil. No, nothing, nothing. He wishes to apologize? How very noble. But at least he left a gift along, which is certainly appropriate. Well, I'm sure I'll have use for it sometime, although it's not probably not even of good quality. Cyrodiil has accepted the potion from Gadane and thinking it is a way of apologizing for his behavior. Hmm. Okay, time to head back up there and see what he has to say about this. I would if he were not in the way. Damn ordinators. Did 
you deliver the potion to Eroldil? Yes. Wonderful. I'm sure this will work. Thank you for your time. A very good friend. I'll be sure to name our first child after you. <laughs> How does Zeros Enderis sound? Oh, and uh, take this as a token of our friendship. Soon she'll be mine. <laughs> Lightering has been added to your inventory. Hmm. Oh, you get the bargain stuff back. Come on. That was a fair, very fair price. Light ring. What does that do? No. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Come on, get off the rope. There we go. Let's go back to the foreign quarter. Too bad there's no real quick way to get up to the uh, um, top level. Well, there is levitate, but I don't have a high enough alteration. Don't feel like spending so much money training it. And don't feel like, uh, you know, taking that long to be able to do s use that. So instead I'll just take this shortcut. Or at least I thought it was a shortcut. Guess not. Ah, oh, that's right, you have to be on the upper waste works for that to work. What is Why has your thing even gone even lower? Oh, come on. Well, the intimidation worked every time. Oh, it's gone down to zero. You know, this guy seems about useless. So, come on, come on. A little higher. Perfect.
There we go. You'll be dead soon. I don't think so. I have the upper hand. Ugh. Nope. Problem solved. Greetings, Cyrano. What can I do for you? Okay, now where's the person that gave me that quest? Of course. What may I do for you? This way, I think, is he the orc? <laughs> I sent you to get the juiced off feather ring. Where is it? You have the ring? Good. Give me the ring and I'll get your pay. There you go. Here's a hundred centimes, journeyman. Easy money. You want more orders? I got them. It's an Argonia that can't keep its mouth shut. Go shut Tongue Toad's mouth. Go find Tongue Toad at the Rat in the Pot on Aldru. Silence him and I'll give you 500 septums. That's a bit of an issue. <coughs> He's a Thieves Guild member. The Fighters Guild recognizes you, Zeros. You are now Zeros the Swordsman. And I can't advance anymore. Damn. Or use his services. Damn. May the fortune be with you. Yes? Get out, get out of my way, annoying voice girl. Let me go upstairs. Oh, that's right. So I'm meant to... Uh, <coughs> I'm supposed to be heading north from the foreign quarter of, of Vivac. So I can find that person's house and give her this plate thing back. What was the deal with the uh, repair sound? Alright, well, it seems to be about supper time, so I'm going to take a break here and start transferring more files to the laptop, because... Oh, Nick Sound, you are interrupting me. Because I want to continue playing. 
<laughs> so, be back soon. And we're back with more Morrowind. Or you could say, more yes, Morrowind. <laughs> anyway, um, where was I going again? Uh huh, Belule, Beluele, Beluele. I'm guessing that's how it's pronounced. Do north from the. <coughs> Do north from the bridge to the foreign corridor is an east-west rope bridge across a lagoon. We'll keep going till I find that bridge, I guess. Hey, who's this out here by the road? Is that the person I just saw? Yes. Outland. What no, it do isn't. You want? Oh, they just look completely identical. Outland. What is what that sound? Do you want? Right, I've already spoken to you about the Netches. I guess I should go a little bit this way. East-west bridge of some sort. Could be talking about that, could they? Could she? This looks like a town of some sort. Well, we can just come back here. And this certainly does look like the... Uh, east-west bridge, as it is certainly going east to west, though in a unorthodox fashion. Get off the post. Cross the bridge east, then follow the path as it leads north. On the left, in the next house, your nets. Come on, get off the post again. I'm being attacked. Oh, a Kaguti. Well, I get one knife back. That's good. Cross both bridges, then head north when I next see a road. Actually, let's just cut cross lots because this looks like it might be the first house. Probably not, though. What is this? Balor. Balor is not who I'm looking for. Close enough. Okay, now take this road north. Now who's this here? Wait, this road doesn't go north? Greetings, my friend. It is I, Nels Lendor. Ah, I see you've heard of me. I am not surprised. No, no. Do not tremble in fear. 
Nils Lindo is a reasonable man. Hardly the cutthroat some would make me out to be. I offer you a fair and healthy proposition before